Ah, this nebula camel grind has been draining my absolute brain dead mind. Like, I got all the golds. I'm chilling. It's very fun. Uh, I made this video because I, I saw the video. It was actually really inspirational. Just reminding myself like what the original purpose of YouTube was for me. This is probably my fifth channel. But honestly, I should have just stayed on the one. I started getting focused on the metrics and like trying to just get out there. Really, it doesn't matter. The people out there that I watch even today, and they, they wouldn't make a channel like every other one out there right now. Everything that's they're making. Like for for example, all of the... Okay, for... Because it's like out there first. Some people do this as a business and to them, you know, good for you. You're doing, you're going through the grind, yada, yada. But I guess I come from a more creative or expressive point of YouTube when I came in like the whole inspirational stuff I started making I think my first video I made was in fifth grade uh, how old I don't know how old you are in fifth grade uh, but whatever but it was a uh, Minecraft it was a uh, survival games you know some crazy stuff but nowadays you know I play different games now I'm into Call of Duty I've been into Call of Duty a while but Black Ops 6 man this game is fun uh god you see YouTubers uploading settings videos and the best guns the best this and that's most of them not all of them, most of them are just flat out wrong. Oh, shit! I fucking mangler kills. I'm trying to get kills with the f goblin. Ugh, anyways. A lot of them are fake. I, I got into professional gaming. I joined a pro team in Apex Legends and did a bit of tournaments in Modern Warfare 2 and 3. So. I still look up these videos, you know? Like, I, personally, I'm just a competitive person. That stuff does resonate with me. But a lot of people are making videos about that kind of stuff because of the metrics. Like, oh, it gets views. Oh, people are looking for this and that. And I'm having more fun doing this. Being myself. I'm just going to record shit like this from now on and upload it. You'll see a guide for me every now and then because honestly, I have friends that ask me for advice and what's the best this and that. Or they also just on their own look up videos. But there's just so much fake shit out there. I mean, honestly, I don't even know what I was talking about. This zombie's camel grinding will literally make you brain dead. I'm losing all senses. If you're doing the camel grind yourself and you're just putting up this YouTube video on top to be like kind of like cut some noise in the background, that's what I do. I just pause, pull up a video that ends, put another video on. I'm just putting random stuff on. But if you're curious how to do this spot, I can make a whole tutorial on it. But I mean, you just look up Terminus Camel Grind spot on Liberty Falls. This is good for manglers, and then later on there's a way to do specials later. Or this is specials, and then later on there's a way to do elites. But if you're trying to do criticals, Terminus is better. Liberty is good for the rest. And if you're doing this and you find that manglers aren't spawning consistently, there's a weird bug and I don't see a single video talk about it. I saw one comment talk about it, and it solved my whole solution. I wish I could pull it up. I don't know. I've been watching so many. I, I could have been fine if I wanted to. I'm spending hours and hours on here with different videos. But basically, you know, you do direct, you start director mode, Liberty Falls, you start down there. You don't want to open up the left side where the bowling alley is and all that. You want to go on the right because if you're farming up here, zombies can spawn behind, but they can also spawn underneath. And the shit's so annoying because they'll spawn over here and then walk their way across, then up. And then if you're running in circles around here, they'll never come up. They're just going to like backtrace and just go back and forth. So just don't open up that whole side of the map or underneath. It'll slow it down a lot. Anyways, once you get up here, if you get round 11 and you get a, what's it called, a vermin round, whatever the dogs are now for this map, then your round's bugged. If you're playing with friends, you have to restart the whole game. But if you're doing solo where you can save and quit, finish that vermin round, finish the next round of zombies, and that will usually spawn a mangler. But then after that, a mangler won't spawn. So on that third round, so first is the vermin, then you do the regular round. And then after that, once zombies start spawning, save and quit, load back in. You won't be in a vermin round, and you'll just get a normal zombies round. After that, manglers will spawn in this door every single time. It makes it so much easier. Yeah, I've been grinding this on a glitched... Not a glitch. I guess it's glitched, because it's not consistent. I don't know why it wouldn't be. Where the manglers just wouldn't spawn, and I was wasting so much time. I'd go like four or five rounds, I don't know, and not a single one would spawn. It was so annoying. I've been in this game for a while now. I mean... I got 1.25 million essence, 11,000, almost 12,000 kills. I'm not going for criticals anymore, so 2,000. It would be higher if it, I was going for it. But yeah, opal grind. Make my brain go numb. Yeah, I'm just going to start uploading YouTube videos again. I don't even care. Like, if I want to make something, I'm just going to make it and put it out there. I wish there was a way in YouTube Studio, if you guys have been making videos, you'll notice it too. After a while, you'll start to hate the homepage of Studio. 
because that little section in the middle on the left side where it shows all the panels on the homepage. It's like, hey, here's your video. Yeah, it's doing shit compared to your past other 10 videos. Or it's like, eh, it's doing okay, not so well, yada yada. I don't need to be reminded, man. I'm making videos. I'm not making YouTube money. I'm doing my own thing, you know? Not like I'm even getting paid for it, so why do I care? Because YouTube, they're a business. They're trying to make money. Obviously, they're going to spend a bunch of money to make the UI as most optimal as possible to try to convince you that, hey, your video is bad, not because you think it's bad or people that watch it is bad, but because it's not making YouTube money. They're not sticking around to watch all the ads. If you're making a video and it's only two minutes long, who cares, man? Like, if you care, enjoy the stuff you do. Have fun. At the end of the day, like, I mean, I guess for a little while, I kind of, it's kind of still there, but people are going to Twitch and YouTube purely to make a living. So because of they're starting out like that, they're just starting out with the money in mind. Granted, I was a part of that. Originally, I was just doing it for fun, but then eventually I was like, I don't want to go out in the real world. Because I find this stuff so much more fun to do. I mean, obviously I've had a job. I'm looking for a job right now, too. It's not bad. When you start out a new job, you, you probably won't like it, but you get the hang of things. Whether or not you made friends at work, but it's just if you can handle them. But then, when you're working, and then you start doing YouTube thinking like, hey, this is my way out, or just being an expressive point of view, and the YouTube home page is like, hmm, you're not me doing it better. You're not, you should be doing better. What's with this video, man? It's not doing well. What's with this, man? 9 out of 10. Oof. Good luck, buddy. You should we start making better stuff? Hey, here's our YouTube Creator Academy. Like, whatever they call it. Where they show you, like, here's how you can keep attention. Here's how you can... I don't care, man. I do not care. I'm pretty sure they send that stuff in the emails too, like, I don't need to see that. If there's a Google extension to turn off all the analytics, I would do that. I would just disable everything. There's not, I've looked. Maybe there's now, but as if I, I, don't, I don't know how long ago, probably six months ago, five months ago I looked at it. God, that would be amazing to have. Someone make it, please. Do not care for any of that. And for the most part, I saw a thing about a bunch of streamers talking about it, like bigger streamers. It was, I can't believe if it was Devin Nash or not. But he was talking about analytics and how it just on your mind, like, you don't need to know that. Obviously, if you're making a living and it's kind of like barely making a living, then it makes sense to focus on it a bit. But that might kind of screw you over mentally if things don't work out. But a lot of big streamers, and the ones primarily who just has been doing it forever, they don't have the view count active. They don't even look at that stuff. Obviously, they interact with chat and they can see whether or not if chat's being really active or really not. But they notice, like, hey, some people just have other things going on in their lives like whether or not you're trending is just completely chance or just the stars aligned or whatever like at the end of the day they're just making content having fun doing their own thing that's the point in life i want to get at just kind of doing my own thing too focused on not making enough not doing enough how to get out of that mindset i don't know if i'm being a life coach video if i'm doing a call of duty zombies video i'm just talking this is what camo grinding does to you so much free time to just think about stuff like after a while doing this you start to like do it without even thinking and here i am just talking about life advice i don't know i don't know what i'm doing basically be yourself and be happy things in life you can't control some things won't change some things do change we don't know what you do your best guess but at the end of the day it's a guess no one actually knows everything did i get opal i've got 30 special kills okay come on dude i gotta save and quit now I was in there for an hour. Asval. Opal. And then I was using... Problem. Oh, no way. 29. I need one more. I said 31. It's crazy. It doesn't actually count it accurately. That is another thing this game's going on. People are noticing... They're, I don't know what it is. I think it just doesn't count it. But people are saying ammo mods, certain ammo augments, gun augments, whatever it's called. Like the, the fire napalm, the electric brain rot, shadow rift. They're saying some of that stuff will steal your elite kills. And then also I noticed with shotguns, the new attachment they added, Dragon's Breath, that stuff will actually steal everything. The multi-kills in a row. I was trying to get a gold and it just wasn't counting a single thing. Give me Opal, which, which I have a lot of money to spend. And then going over to the box. Rolling and hoping I get it. I've got a website, uh, wzhub.gg. They have a camo tracker. It's really nice. I recommend it if you're starting out or even just halfway through the whole camel grind. It's nice not having to save and quit all the time. Or if you're playing with friends, you just switch it around. Speaking of which, I need to mark it. I got Opal for that. Then I spin the box and I just mark it off my list. Fuck you. Dude, I hate. Is it, is it a bunny now? It's 
still call it a bear? Maybe because it's a different zombies universe? I don't know. Where's the bo- uh, You know what, actually I think I can use that box without glitching up the rooftop strat. So you can go left side, go in here, and that's the only door you can buy. If you buy that bowling alley door, you mess up the spawning and it's just gonna make it terrible. There is a box in that alley, so I'm just hoping I get the gun before it goes in there. Because if I do end up getting that box, I'm just gonna leave. Plague Doctor, what gun is that? Oh yeah, pro tip if you- Hold on. Brain farting. Zombie focus. If you do have like weapon blueprints or custom guns as your gun, so this one says Plague Doctor, I don't know what gun that is. If you go to your scoreboard, weapon stats right here. If you're on PC, if you hold tilde, I think that's what it's called. Above tab. It shows the name of the gun, besides the blueprint name. So Goblin Mark II for that, because I think the Goblin Mark II is named Org Mark II, 12 for some reason. Plague Doctor is the AIMS 80. I check my list. I do not have that opal, so I keep that. And I spin the box for another one. I Okay, SV. I think I already did that. Yeah, see it's opal. That's cool. It's the first opal gun I've actually used in zombies, besides my bat. Actually, I don't think my bat. Yeah, no, not my bat. Yes. Oh, I've already got that. I love that you can save and quit, change your gun, and when you get it from the box or the wall, it actually updates the build to it. Ray gun. Don't need that. What is this? AEK? I don't think I have that. I don't. Cool. Got an assault rifle and an AR. No, I just need to pack a bunch of it. I'm not even going to upgrade the tiers. I might put a napalm burst on. Yeah, I'll do it. I got a lot of scrap. Pack three. And back three. Cool. I'm gonna put on napalm burst, then I'm gonna get back on the roof. Bam. I guess another tip if you're doing the camera grind and you're watching all those videos, just know it's gonna take forever. Like, there's nothing you can really do about it. You can do all those glitches, but at the end of the day, I mean, if you're decent at zombies and you know how to train base, like, like you can get round 30, like, can relatively consistently, a glitch it's not gonna speed things up. Even if it's a god mode glitch, once you get to around 55, dude, like, they're so buffed. At that point, restart, go to round 33, or round 30 again. Granted, the first round's like, you know, round 110, I guess, because round 11's pretty good. It's really slow. Just know it's going to take a long time. My tip is to put on some good YouTube videos, maybe a podcast or something, I don't know. Because, like, realistically, all you're doing is playing zombies and aim for the head. That's it's really simple. It's not like Modern Warfare 3 for Damascus. Dude, that was a pain in the ass. I got that. Dude, that was that was my first camo completionist I've done. I didn't realize that was actually the hardest one to do. Which most people agree me with agree with me on that. Like every camo challenge is a different challenge and they all are stupid and some of them are like player dependent on the other players. Like if they play the map a certain way. And I did it before they had all the 24-7 maps, man, those would have made it so much easier. Yeah, turn the game volume down because you don't really need it that much. I turned mine down to like two or four, and then I just put on, I don't know, Family Guy YouTube videos randomly and just let it play. Try to make it enjoyable. Because the real problem with the camera grind is you're going to get bored and you're going to stop. Like, even if you're most effective way possible, which is going to be slow. Like, there's, it's just slow. You just ha you need to make it fun. <laughs> Do it with your friends, or if you're not, put on a podcast, put on a YouTube video, put on a TV show, uh, find a new series, you know? That's the best tip out there. Make it fun. I guess that's a circle back to when I was talking about how YouTube is nowadays. Make it fun. Do your own thing. Spice it up a bit. I was doing this with a friend, but dude, we're getting so bored of this comic. We're hopping on a multiplayer more often. At first, we were just doing zombies, but dude, oh, it gets boring when you're playing objectively just for headshots, and it's like this slow counter that's slowly going up. And if you die because you're just zoned out, like, it's like, ah. I restart the first 10 slow rounds. Yeah, just have fun. It's boring if you're doing it just in game. No extra stuff. Solo. Purely just game audio. When I'm recording, I just have music playing. But if I'm doing and like not recording and I'm just going for kills, whatever. I got Family Guy, Joe Rogan, uh, you know, the good old Smitty, Tio. Those are my favorite YouTubers. As of right now, they switch. But I mean, those two stay. But I'll have other ones. Always watch Pestily series. Those are fun. Escape from Tarkov. I played a lot of Escape from Tarkov. It's a fun game. Really, really hard to get into, but it's a lot of fun once you like understand it. I just enjoy the long process of things and when you can actually like feel when you're done. Whether it's showing you something in game or you actually just feel better. I think that's the reason why I got into Call of Duty and YouTube. Because Call of Duty, you start out 
at least back in the day, you know, I started, I don't know which one was my first one, because I think I, just, like, played on and off some of the very first few, but I think Modern Warfare 2, like, most, and that was my first, like, full dive. That was the game. Some play COD 4, you know, but MW2 was it. The old one, not the new one. But dude, if there was no, like, SBMM that was crazy hardcore, there was SBMM, but it wasn't like it is today, where every match is, like, a siege ranked level, like, competitiveness. Once you start to feel like getting good at the game, back then it felt good because you were consistently on top. Every now and then, you know, they'd be a good player because it's like, even back then, man, even if you were good back then, you'd still every now and then get destroyed by the other team. You never know who you're going to match against. Uh, with YouTube, I'm sure a lot of people out there have started their own YouTube channel or like at least made a video or something. There's a lot of stuff to learn. And I kind of feel bad for people starting YouTube today because they're like... You gotta know the search engine algorithm, you gotta know Google Trends, you gotta know how to make thumbnails and Photoshop. Like, no. You just have to know recording software, NVIDIA GeForce, or like OBS, PlayStation, or Xbox recording, whatever. And Microsoft Paint, at the very least, for thumbnails. That's it. You don't need to know description titles, tagging. You don't... Tagging doesn't do anything. Description doesn't do anything. It kind of used to. I don't believe it does anything now. Obviously, if you have nothing, then yeah. Having something's better than nothing. But just upload that's what I'm trying to take my own. I'm trying to take my own advice here too, and I'll kind of believe myself the way I'm thinking right now, for like a month. But then I start looking at the trends because after a month, people you start to gain traction a little bit. And it's like, oh, cool, oh, yay. But then it's like, ah, shit. I'm looking at the metrics again. I'm like, ah, oh, no. I'm just looking at it. It's just, just you know, it's cool to cool to look at. You know, it's like, fun fact. It's not like I'm looking at it. It turns into Medusa or I don't know something. You can't look away. You just start to get attached to it. And I think, for myself at least, I blame gaming for that. Because <laughs> gaming is very, like, very feedback friendly. Like, if you shoot a guy, you get a hit marker. Oh, see the double lines as a headshot. Shoot him in the toe. Oh, only one line hit marker. Oh, headshot. Double line, double line. Oh, that's really good. All these points. You got insta-kill on the bottom. Oh, you're doing good. You got perks. Oh, you got 270 points. Oh my god, and you got points on the bottom left. Oh, you got gear you can spend. Oh my god, oh my god. Metrics are everywhere. They're very good. But then at YouTube, it's, it's pretty much the opposite. You don't want to look at that. <laughs> It's, but it's ingrained in my brain to look at these numbers and be like, ooh, like piece of candy. <laughs> Welcome to another Call of Duty commentary. That should have been the intro. I'm at 9. Holy crap, dude, I thought I was at least 15. This takes forever. You know what the song I'm listening to right now? It keeps me engaged in the game. What is it called? Toby Fox Spider Dance. <laughs> like, I gotta play. I'm one of those weird people with music where, like, if I like a song, it's not because of the genre, the artist, the theme, the mood, the whatever. It's just sometimes I just like songs. I might have like heavy metal, I might have pop, some slow romantic song, it's like dubstep, you know? Jazz, I'll have like the most basic, like weird, every genre out there. But it's not because I like the genre or if I don't like the genre. I only don't like country. If you're into the country pop, that's not country that you're, you're listening to pop, for those of you that do like it. But then again, I guess the genres do evolve over time, so I guess country now is just country pop, but it's just people call it country now because that's all it is. Uh, maybe that's good, but I don't, I don't, I can't, I can't do it. Oh, 12 kills. This shit's taking forever. Oh, 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 I've been needing to find out. So, the arsenal, right? Uh, hold on, take it back. Any of you play Borderlands, I'm pretty sure it's the same actor old cross, but like any of the Borderlands brick, you know, the big muscly dude you can play in one, and you know, he's in, he's in all of them. Uh, he doesn't die at the end of three. No, that's a different character. But, dude, he sounds like Brick at times. At times, he's like, no, that's not him. But then again, it's a voice actor, you know. But god, it sounds so much like him, but I can't find anything that credits the arsenal online. Whoever the actor is for that bugs me. I didn't used to be into knowing actors and all that stuff. Like, I never really cared. I was like, oh, that's really cool. You know, it builds up the environment. But, um, ever since I started watching shows, like English dubbed anime, even subtitled sometimes, but I like watching dubbed because I like to eat and watch. I don't like to eat and read, you know what I mean? There'll be a times when I do switch over to subbed oh, rather than dubbed, but most of the time I'm doing dubbed. But they're all the same actors almost, which is really weird. Maybe there's a reason for it. I mean, there's a lot of actors, granted. Usually there's a lot of characters in all these shows, but it's funny when you watch a show as a main character and then that main character is later on like a side character for like two minutes of like a 60 episode series. And then you're like, wait a minute, I know, like, I don't know, for me that's always like really cool when you're like, I know him. You look it up and it's him, it's like, I knew it. I've been doing that a lot lately. I'm getting really better with names and all this and that. So I've been watching Family Guy, 
And um, Seth MacFarlane, dude, he's got a lot of voices. He's, I'm pretty sure he's like the, the director and he voices Peter Griffin and a, you know, a ton of other characters. He's also Roger, I think, American Dad, I believe. I don't, I don't know. Could be wrong. I hear, like, I don't know the name of him and the characters. Usually I just know the name and the voice. So if I hear a clip of somebody, I'll know it's somebody he's by name. Not even by name. Like, sometimes I just, I know their voice. And then once I find it, it's like, hey, if you watch Sing, the Disney, is it Disney? I think it's Disney. I don't know. But the little mouse dude who's, like, getting chased by bears and stuff, that dude is Peter Griffin. And, like, I only noticed it because at the very end, when he's on stage, he's kind of gets shocked by something like, 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 oh no, like, whatever. But it sounded exactly like Peter Griffin. It was so weird. And my girl was like, what? No. I'll look it up and it is him. But it was just that one little frame because the dude has such a range of voices. Whether it be characters or like, you know, just real sounding voices. It's funny. It would also be crazy to me too is these actors. Their voice sounds the same from when they're like... 16 all the way till they're like 60 70s like it's weird i guess the whole profession is like they're controlling their voice so even as they age they know how to alternate their voice to stay consistent that's just crazy to me they can sound the exact same even though they can have like difference in the years oh yeah there's another one recently ddo ghibli never seen a single movie of theirs i know it's amazing i haven't seen it but i was watching it because a friend was like you haven't seen it and oh i don't know the name of it fortress in the sky something it's about a little girl and a boy and they run away together because the girl was being chased by something and she fell out of a blimp and her necklace made her float to the ground safely yada yada but if you know it you'll know it dude the grandma pirate commander whoever she is i don't know whatever she sounds so much from the croods like the croods grandma i was like dude she sounds like she's from the croods and then like an hour into it i look it up I'm like i was right and then same thing with oh, i can't remember the character maybe it was a general i can't remember who it was now but well, one of them sounded like Pete from like the classic Disney um, movie shows. I, I think he might be the same actor all across. Wouldn't be surprised if they changed him here and there, but dude, it was so weird. Like a random, two random Disney actors. I guess they're in association with Disney, aren't they? I don't know. This video is a big tangent. Someone can make a video off of this video and be like, how the grind for Nebula will smooth your brain out, less wrinkles. It can make it like an ad for lotion. Smooth the wrinkles. Bring back the youth of your brain when it was it used to be a squishy little ball. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. But that's the whole point. Like, this shit, this, this, my brain's numb. Now I'm listening to the Halo 3 theme song. Great song. I remember I put that on my little square iPod back in the day. No screen on it, you know? <laughs> Play that thing on max with the earbuds in. And those earbuds back then, they're not as regulated now. They went too loud. I remember I had it on max volume on a car ride. I don't know where I was going with my parents, but they turn around like, you okay? <laughs> It's a good song. Good memories, man. I think that's why my music taste is weird, because I associate it with memories. Halo was so much fun. Undertale was really cool, too. I like, dude, that was a game where it's like, dude, it was the fact that they have, like, you can save the game and have a whole playthrough, but based on how your ending went out, your next game through, gameplay of the same game, even though you don't even know it's connected, you start a new game fresh, can be a little bit different because of how you played the last one. That to me, like, blew my mind. I'm like, oh my god, how is this? That's crazy. It freaked me out. I didn't even continue the second playthrough because I was like, what? Ugh, I don't know. Man, that was a cool game. I played it not knowing a single thing about it besides it was popular and I was bored. I was like, I want to find a cool game. Hey, this is people play this. Hey, mom, I like it. I don't know. God, that is a mind crazy game. And they, they have it designed like that. You start the game out and you just start, you have the choice to like, I think it's like kill, talk it out and something else. Either you show aggression or you show compassion towards all the characters, even the ones that are trying to kill you, yada yada. You can kill one of the characters in the beginning, and it's like the brother to a main character that will lead to a boss fight at the end. And man, the dialogue really hit me. I was like, dude, I thought it was just the game, oh my god. Freaking out and stuff. That's yeah, an amazing game. I definitely recommend it, and I definitely recommend not looking into it, just play it. If you end up being not for you, then you could look stuff up, but just play it without knowing what it is. Undertale. Great game. Cheap. Quick. It's not that long. While the old arcade style might not be for everybody, it's not for me either, but it was such a fun game. And the music's pretty good. Now I'm listening to The World by Nightmare. Death Note intro song. I believe Death Note was maybe my third anime. Third or fourth. First one was Sword Art Online. Great intro anime. Really? No, you like how the show ends up being after the first half of season one. Up to you. I really liked it. The entire... Even the newer ones. Alicization. 
One of the movies was really good. I haven't watched all of them. The alternate story with Gun Gal. It was good. But kind of like lost all my connection to it because the characters aren't there. Still like the world. I think a cell world is also in the same world. Pretty cool. I like the idea that it's in the same world and it goes into the future of augmented reality games. I think it's called a cell world. I could be wrong about that. Pig and a butterfly. That's all I remember. I might honestly watch that again. It's been a very long time. And 30. 31. What? I should have gotten it by now. There it is. But it's weird. It's not counting the first... Kills. Annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna stop recording after I get 30 for this. That'll be four guns I'll pull today. I'm not racing for Nebula, but I do want to get as much done as I can, at least. Without getting bored. After I get this zombie camo done, I am definitely switching over to multiplayer and doing that camo. I don't want to play zombies until the new map. I might have even finished by the time the new map comes out. I think I will, though. The good aim trainer, goddamn. It's the same few spots, so it's not really the best aim trainer, but, you know. At least while I'm stuck in zombies, I can aim train a little bit. Instead of just the hoarding, and I'm just keeping eye level the entire time. Which actually, I don't think about it, that's still good training. It's about 30 minutes, and I got a gun. Oh, I don't know how long it took me to get the box. I want to say 20 minutes, honestly. So many zombies. So few bullets. Oh shit, I just, I was using the wrong gun. Alright, this time I have the right gun. There we go. One more mangler kill. I'm at nine. I don't know if it's bugged, but you get a lot of gobble gums for playing this director mode. And XP. You get a lot of XP for just repeating round 11. It's really weird. And it's another one. 11. Opal. What? I guess I've had some already. That was only 12. Cool. I don't have to suffer any longer today. Maybe I will later today, but I'm done doing Opal Grand for today. <sighs> cool. That now leaves me with 18 out of 35 opals. Oh god, what guns was it? I did Goblin, AEK, Ames, and one more. Goblin, Ames, I believe. AEK? I thought that was a marksman. Oh, there it is. What else? Oh no, I don't remember. I was in the very beginning. Very beginning. I was doing Asval, which I have done. I was doing the Asval and... Fuck, I don't remember. No, I think I plan to do... I don't, I don't know, whatever. That'll be it for today. It's enough brain rot for today.